back, baby. And it feels better than ever. Ooh, yeah, we're back. guys welcome back to the channel i'm justin green and if it's your first time here you may want to consider subscribing because we do some pretty cool things here on the channel um yeah so like subscribe now i mean i can wait <laughs> no i'm just kidding uh but anyways guys uh so i know it's been a minute yeah we're back at it again i'm super excited super stoked to uh you know get this channel rolling again as you can uh, see we're we're in a new studio space. I've been working on this for the past few weeks, uh, getting this and getting that ready, and I'm still nowhere near done. I'll give you guys a tour of the studio here in just a minute. But yeah, we're back, and today we're going to be talking about you know my 2019 spring EDC setup. Now I'm not going to go through exactly what I carried, you know, day in and day out. I'm going to give you guys um, a little bit of a broad spectrum of the different items that I do carry because depending on what my day consists of, where I'm going, what I'm going to be doing. It's going to depend on what I carry for that day. You know, a lot of these guys, they buy stuff um, and they carry it that and only that. And yeah, I kind of was in that phase for a while. Um, but here lately, I've just kind of realized that I don't need certain items every single day. I know this is everyday carry, but I have a rotation of items that I personally carry day in and day out, just depending on what I'm going to do. So we're going to run through those today. But uh, yeah, first, let me show you guys the new studio. So let's uh, let's go do that now. All right, guys. So uh, before we get started on the EDC, like I said, I've got the, uh, the new studio set up. So let me give you guys a little bit of a rundown, show you what I've got so far, tell you what some of my plans are. This place will look completely different by the time, you know, this channel grows and gets bigger. But I've got a base. I've got a good foundation. And I got some really good ideas, and I've still got some stuff coming that'll be here later uh, next week. So this thing will probably change a little bit before you guys see it again. But, um, you know, as of right now, so let's look and see what I got. As you can see, I've got my, um, my MacBook. That's what I do all my editing and basically everything on. I've got it set up. Got my desk set up here. Um, I've got my 32-inch, uh, you know, flat, or I'm sorry, 32-inch curb screen, uh, Samsung. I did some gaming on this thing there for a while, but this is mo mostly just for editing. I like to have the big screen. Uh, whenever I do all my photo and video editing, it just makes things 10 times easier. Um, but as you can see this table, guys, I don't know if you can tell, it's got a lot of junk on it. I've still got tools laying here uh, where I was building all this stuff. But I actually made this table. My buddy um, is my next door neighbor. He actually had an old picnic table. Um, we, uh, we chopped it up, I cut it up, got the dimensions I wanted and uh, sanded this thing down, stained it, it come out amazing. So free table, kitchen, um, and then also I found this barn wood here um, up in the upper part of my garage that the previous owner left. So I today actually uh, cut that up and um, made these pretty sweet shelves out of it. I know it's a little dark in here with the lighting set up, but yeah, I made me a nice little shelf to kind of display uh, all my EDC stuff and my camera gear and stuff like that just to have uh, you know, cool little background here for the channel, but I've got some stuff. We'll go through what's on this uh, this shelf today for the EDC video. Um, but I just kind of wanted to put all my knickknack EDC stuff, kind of have it on display here, and then plus it makes it very accessible. Um, but with that being said, so this is kind of what I'm working with on a on a space here. I'll kind of step back and let you guys see that. I got a green screen going here. Um, if you guys don't know already, uh, I actually. Uh, do two YouTube channels this is my personal channel and then I also run a hunting uh, YouTube channel it's hollow Ridge outdoors if you guys are interested in the hunting uh, we're rolling in turkey season right here in Northeast Tennessee right now I'm actually getting up in the morning and going and filming uh, and hunting myself for that channel so go check them out I'll leave link down below uh, if you're into hunting and stuff like that it's a pretty cool channel me and a bunch of friends here in Northeast Tennessee do I do all the editing and filming and stuff for that channel as well, but I have a green screen, a makeshift green screen up right now for that channel. That normally comes down and there is a brick wall here, so it's kind of like an accent wall. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I've got my studio space here. I've got some wooden blinds up in the windows to match the table and the uh, you know the uh, shelves that I just recently made. Uh, I will be getting new flooring. It's just carpet in here right now, but I am a baller on a budget, 
so I've got to wait a little while before I get the flooring done. I do have a futon coming that is going to be going on this wall. It is a fake leather, a uh, pleather uh, futon, but it just gives, you know, people, if anybody wants to come over here and chill, my best friend, like I said, lives next door. If he wants to come over and chill and edit hunting videos, I'll have a nice comfy place for him. And if we have guests over, that folds out into another bed so, you know, somebody could stay here with us. Um, and then I'm probably going to build another shelf that will go right here on this wall just to have maybe some pictures or something display uh, who knows and i've still got to decorate the rest of the walls and stuff but like i said i got a good foundation i got a nice little spot here to edit and to film some of these uh you know these videos for you guys and then you know got the closet here which is just got a bunch that's where i keep all my clothes because my wife takes up the one in the bedroom and then i've got a bathroom that is attached to the office here so uh, yeah, let's go ahead guys. Let's dive back down. I didn't want to waste any more of your time I just wanted to show you guys some of the up-and-coming things here on the channel um, So let's dive back down and we'll get started on this EDC video All right now that we got that out of the way guys. I wanted to show you that I'm super excited about this um, You know, this is something that's just gonna make doing these videos so much more pleasurable so much more comfortable and just a lot easier to have a space um, you know devoted to bringing you guys content so I'm super excited about this especially as all this is starting to come together and the more you know more stuff that I get the uh, the more excited I get but, um, today we're talking about EDC like I said at the start of the video I'm not gonna go over exact items that I carry every single day this is the only item you know I rotate my EDC uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are like that you don't carry the same thing every single day because you don't do the same things every day if I'm going to work I'm going to carry something different than if I'm going to church or, you know, vice versa. If I'm running out to, you know, go out to town with the wife and the boy, I'm going to carry something a little bit different in my pockets than what I would if I was at work or at church. So uh, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a variety. This may be a little longer of an EDC video, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of my stuff. I have a bunch of stuff. None of it is necessarily expensive. Um, some of it's cheap. Some of it does cost a little more, um, but... Um, you know it all has a certain purpose and some of the stuff I just like so we're gonna go through we're gonna look at this and show you guys what I got so uh, first up here on the desk I have this leather dump tray now this is made uh, by a outfit here locally in Tennessee in Northeast Tennessee they're only about 40 minutes up the road from me and I actually have one of their wallets up here on the uh, shelf as well but whenever I get in from work or church or wherever I am, I just come in here, I dump what's in my pockets into this tray, and then and I grab this and go. If I want to change up an item, I have everything on this shelf right here that um, if I wanted to swap something out, I would just grab it off of the shelf and replace for whatever I've been carrying. So what I'm going to do is, is go through some of this stuff first off. Um, Let's just start with a watch. I'm a big watch guy, not necessarily, I don't collect watches. Um, I'm not into fancy watches, things like that. I simply love to have a watch. Yeah, I know um, nowadays you can just use your cell phone to tell time, but I, the, the job that I got into eight years ago, the place I worked, you couldn't have a phone on the site, so you kinda had to wear a watch if you wanted to not miss you know, what time it was. So uh, first up, what I have on personally right now is a Apple Watch Series 2. So as you can see there, it's just your uh, 42 millimeter Series 2 Apple Watch. This is the stock band. It's dirty and, and probably needs a good washing and probably could use another band, but um, the Apple Watch itself, super handy. As you guys know, I have a MacBook, I have an iPhone. Uh, it just made sense to try out one of these watches and I really like it. Um, it does a lot of cool things. I can track, you know, how, how much I walk on the average day when I'm on the job. And, uh, you know, it's pretty cool to, to look down and when you get home and realize that you've walked over eight miles. I average about eight miles a day uh, with my job as being an electrician. I'm constantly up and down ladders and going and getting stuff and just constantly on the move. So it's pretty cool to have something like that. Uh, you can check your blood pressure. These things have a lot of cool stuff. Uh, you can you know get your messages I can uh, what I like about it is I can set my Bluetooth speaker up on the job site turn on Spotify and uh, you know listen to it somebody comes in and I need to talk to them you can just use this little dial 
right here and you can turn up and turn down your music that's playing Bluetooth over on a speaker. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the Apple Watch Series 2 is a, is a watch that I do use a lot. And then if I'm not wearing it, my second choice, as you guys have seen on the channel already, is going to be my G-Shock Rangeman. Now, um, these watches are hard to beat, especially if you're an industrial or rugged type person. This watch I've had for about three and a half, four years now. I wear this watch to work a lot, especially if I know I'm going to be doing something that could potentially mess up my Apple Watch. I will definitely wear this watch. And as you guys can tell, I mean, this thing is in pretty good condition considering it's been beaten, banged, and stuffed into cracks in the walls and bricks and concrete. And I mean, it's just took a beating. I do have these, um, these different, uh, watch band on here i did a video on that before i will be sure to link that video if you guys are interested in this watch band i will uh, link that video above and i will link um the amazon uh, link for this watch band and if you guys are interested in that so that's the that's the two watches that i carry so let's go ahead and move on um next up this is something that you guys have seen a couple times on the channel and that is going to be my wallet so the wallet that I am currently carrying, let me get my credit card out of here before you guys steal my information. Um, <laughs> uh, so the, wor the wallet that I'm currently carrying has been the one that I carry just basically every day and that is going to be the Travax Contour. This thing is just a champ, guys. If you are thinking of converting to a uh, front pocket carry and you want something that will carry quite a few cards, as you can see right there, there is quite a few cards inside that puppy, and I still have room. You can adjust this little piece right here that it, um, has a uh, Allen head in it, and you can make this, you know, have more or less retention on it. And then on the back side, it has a money clip that you can just slide some bills right in there. Um, can't can't say enough about this, especially the uh, the contour. If you're wanting to make a a transition from a traditional bifold or trifold definitely definitely go check out uh, Travax they have many other styles but I can personally vouch uh, that this is an amazing front pocket carry if I'm not carrying that one if I'm going somewhere where I don't need but maybe you know my debit card my ID my uh, concealed carry permit if I don't need much more than that I have this little slider wallet and this is made by the same outfit that makes the um, dump tray that I have back here, and that is Bristol Branded Leather Company. Like I said, they're out of Bristol, uh, either Virginia or Tennessee. They, Bristol is a bordering city into both states, but uh, yeah, they make these, and you can see I'm pretty sure they're a Tennessee located because this one has the Tennessee logo on it. Um, but yeah, I'll carry this a lot. This is a really cool wallet if you don't need to have a whole bunch in it. All right, and then next up, once again, something else that you guys have seen here on the channel, and that is going to be my pin. That is the uh, Felon Holter. That is the tie bolt. This is a solid piece of titanium that these are made out of, and just the all-around sweet pin. Like I said before, never had a, uh, a piece that was more of a conversation starter than what you're getting with this pin right here. You pull this thing out. And, it, and you let somebody use it and they automatically love the bolt action that's on this thing. So as you can see, it has a nice little bolt action there. And it's pretty cool to, if you just to fidget with if you like stuff like that. You know, when I'm thinking a lot, I'll sit here and, and I think a lot because I'm not too smart. But I'll sit here and fidget with my pen. But I love this thing. It's refillable. Uh, I just keep like 10 or 12 refills. Normally I can get about 8, 9 months out of a refill on this thing. But... I use this pen every day. I have to fill out a lot of paperwork when I'm at work. Uh, I go places and sign receipts. I always use my own pen because I'm a germaphobe and I don't want to use one that everybody else uses. So I do carry the Felon Holter tie bolt every single day. There's no replacements. I'm not using another pen ever for the rest of my life. This is a nice pen. Okay, next up, something that I do carry every single day and that's going to be my keys. Now, this is a lot of keys, I understand. I have a lot of junk on here that I don't need, but I have a work van. I have my personal vehicle. I have a house key, job key. Uh, got a little little lock on here uh, just because I thought it was cool. A little bronze lock. And it does have a little tiny key 
that goes with it as you can see right there so it actually functions um but yeah this uh this goes everywhere with me of course especially because i've got my job box uh keys and stuff on here i do have a little um gerber um shard i actually picked this up after watching uh, my boy talon size channel quite a bit i've seen him always talking about this thing so i popped it on there and i have used it a few times uh, it's got a bottle opener and it has a pry bar flathead screwdriver and then on the back side you have a phillips screwdriver there so yeah it's got its own little function pretty cool and then everything that i do have rests on the anzo and that is going to be the clip that i use that is an anzo once again this is solid titanium i kind of have a titanium fetish i think um, but yeah he is a he i think anzo is actually a knife maker he makes these um carabiner clips and uh, this thing I've had for about three years now, and it's just as stout as ever. There's no uh, you know, loss of the spring back on the clip or anything. Uh, this is always on my side. This is how I get my life, get to and from everything on my life, basically. Now, uh, we're going to talk about what knife I've been carrying. Now, like I said, this is something I'm going to show you guys a few different varieties or variations of because depending on the day, where I'm going, what I'm doing, um, I do carry different knives. I have a, quite a few of knives. None of them are great, greatly expensive. Now, I have had some really nice expensive, you know, Chavez renditions and stuff like that in the past. I've had some Ferrum Forges. I've had a Chavez Ferrum, For Ferrum Forge, um, you know, collaboration blade. I've had some expensive knives a couple years ago, but I mainly sold all of them. Um, and I just kind of keep... Um, you know some more of the cheaper stuff i won't say cheaper stuff i've actually found some knives that are very pocket friendly very budget friendly and are very durable blades so let's go ahead and go through a few of those for you guys um, but here lately i will say the blade that i have been carrying more than anything else is just a simple pocket knife um, i've been finding myself with way too much stuff on me so i've been trying to condense and and, and make my my edc as small as possible unless I know I'm gonna be needing something rugged and, and all this certain things in my pocket so here lately I have been carrying this simple little case knife now this one is a, a I'm probably gonna screw this up I'm just gonna read it to you guys because I know I mess it up this one is the Aquarius Corallon Corellion Corallon series uh, mine is actually number one of 500 i don't know if you guys can see that on the blade but i ordered this thing offline um probably five years ago i just wanted a nice case knife i don't have any old cases and um i ordered it off the internet and i just happened to get one of 500 um, this thing i just like the colors in it it's nice nice pretty colors looks good i like the green and the blue kind of has that watery ocean type feel to it but i have been carrying this thing in my pocket now for the better part of about a month and simply just for the case haha <laughs> no pun intended that um i just don't want a lot of bulk in my pockets if i don't have to have it so um a lot of times i will carry this to work even lately because i have a uh, electrician's uh, knife that i carry with a pair of scissors and a pouch so I just carry this. This kind of does my cardboard tape type things and whatever else I need to cut as long as it's nothing too extravagant. This seems to get the job done. Um, but let me show you guys a few of my other knives. As you guys have seen before on the channel, uh, I have the uh, Boker Quaken. Mine is the titanium scale version. And uh, this is just an all around sweet knife. I do like to carry it quite a bit. I haven't carried it in a while though because it is a little heavier. Um, I also have this Valino Designs box cutter. Now this thing has a pocket clip. It is tipped down. I'm not a big fan of carrying these in my pockets. I just have this weird thing that I'm going to get cut. Every time I, I use a box cutter, it doesn't end well. Um, I bought this thing just simply because I thought it was a pretty cool design. But I'm still a little weary about carrying it. I just don't like... It's got... It locks in the place. It's got grooves cut. And you can't really push it forward. But when you do, there's just a little bit of that blade sticking out. And I'm not a big fan of that. 
and I just wish it would lock down a little bit better. But this thing has come in handy. You can extend it out to like that. That way you can you, you know use most of the blade. I've used it in the past, but mostly this stays at home and I cut, you know, boxes and packages and things like that open with it. Um, I haven't, haven't pocket carried it quite a bit. Also, as you guys have seen here, uh, I have the, um, the Leatherman Skeletool and this thing is just a sweet little blade to have. You have a knife, you have a carabiner, you have pliers, you have the bit kit and it does have its own proprietary bits. You can change these out with this little bit kit right here. It, had, it comes with like 21 different bits on it. Everything from Allen wrench or Allen heads, flat heads to just everything. So this is a super, super cool little tool to have. A lot of times uh, I will take this thing with me and just even just if it's not in my pocket, I'll take it with me, throw it in the vehicle along with the bit kit. That way I'm always prepared if I don't have a screwdriver or something. Also, I have a uh, Microtech uh, Combat Trudon. Gosh, I can't talk tonight. What is wrong with me? Haven't done a video in a while, guys. You're going to have to, you know, help me out here. But uh, this thing I carry every now and then. It's just a little big and a little bulky for my taste. I uh, bought it kind of like, uh, you know, on uh, impulse. I wish I would have went with the Ultra Tech. It would be really cool to have one of them. Luckily, I live like an hour from Smoky Mountain Knife Works, the biggest knife store in the world. So, um, yeah, once I get some extra cash flow in, I would like to get one of the Ultra Techs coming. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I do have the uh, Trudon that I carry from time to time when I want to feel tactical. <laughs> And the last few knives that I will transition from, uh, these I'm going to tell you guys about. If you've never heard of Two Sun Blades, I highly recommend checking them out. I know I normally like to support, uh, you know, USA made products, but um, these knives that this company called True Two Sun makes, they are a, as far as I know, they are a Chinese knife <clears throat> makers. They do use pretty good materials. Um, a lot of their blades you can get S35 uh, on. Uh, most of the stuff though is going to be D2, which I'm not a big, you know, I don't care if it's D2. I'm not uh, a D2 hater. I have a lot of knives that are made out of D2. It's a pretty good steel, especially for the stuff I use. I don't, I don't do, uh, I don't buy knives to baby them. I buy knives to, you know, to use and cut you know basic stuff cardboard things like that is what 90 percent of my use is so i don't need some super crazy ridiculous steel to cut a piece of cardboard uh, i've got to where i can sharpen d2 pretty good so i stick with it but two sons um they do maybe um make some replicas i'm not sure 100 percent on that i think all their blades though are um you know their own design god i thought something was falling off that shelf to hit me in the head um all their blades are their design but this one here it has g10 scales as you can see and it's just a sweet little design now um, their knives you can pay up you know up close to a hundred dollars maybe a little more for some of them but you can pay as little as twenty dollars for some of their knives and i will have to say they all come all their flippers come straight out of the box razor sharp that will cut hair out of the box and all their flippers uh, have some really nice bearings in them. They're very smooth, uh, very easy to actuate. So as you guys can see here, I mean, just a little flick of the finger and that thing gum comes right up. And then once you get past that, look, see right there, it goes right back down. So, I mean, it's uh, pretty good blades. I have this one here. I also have uh, one here. This one is titanium scales. Now it, it came black. I acid washed it and sandblasted it to get it down to the bare titanium. This thing has been anodized a few different colors in the past. And I've just decided to go back to the bare titanium. I like the look of it. Um, and then the blade itself. There you go. It's a nice little tonneau blade. Once again, this thing come out of the box, razor sharp, it cut hair, shaved hair, 
Um, as you guys, I don't know if you guys can see here, right there's the logo, two sun knives, and it is D2 steel. Maybe you can see that, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I really can't say enough about these guys. If you're looking for a good quality blade, uh, but you don't want to pay an arm and a leg for you want something that you know If you want to go out and actually use a knife and not worry about it You know you can give like 50 60 bucks for one of these knives is what they average Like I said, you can pay less and you can pay a little more But they are very 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 durable and then the last one that I have here is This two sun now this one came bare titanium and I have actually anodized it myself with a little weird pattern here but um yeah just testing and playing i'll probably eventually take this one back to bare titanium but once again the uh bearings on these things are just buttery smooth and uh, i like the blade style on this one personally as you guys can see look at that thing it is uh it is just very this one flips right open and then uh let me just show you this again so once this thing gets I mean, it just falls right back into place. Uh, two sun blades, sorry, didn't mean to take up so much time on those, but I highly, highly recommend them. I'll try to find the links for these and, and put them all down below for these specific ones, but if not, I'll put a couple different other uh, two sun knives down below for you guys to go check out. All right, and getting down to the nitty gritty here, one of the last things that I have been carrying here lately is a flashlight. Um, I think the last video we did, I was carrying the O-Light uh, here lately, I have been carrying the Jet Pro 2. Jet 2 Pro, I'm sorry. I've been carrying the Jet 2 Pro. Uh, this thing is just a sweet little knife. I've actually had this one anodized as well. It is a titanium knife, a uh, titanium flashlight. I about said knife, what an idiot. It is a titanium flashlight that I have anodized myself, but uh, it has a couple different modes on it. So you've got like a Firefly. And then it goes up to, I want to think, about 500 lumens. I, have, I haven't really looked at this one. I've had this knife for a while. I can't remember the exact specs. But if you're interested, uh, once again, I'll leave links down below. You can go check them out. And then I think it has a strobe pattern too. Yeah, don't look at that. You might have an epileptic seizure. Um, but that is the knife that I have been carrying. For, or God, I keep calling it a knife. What is wrong with you tonight? Um, but anyways, that is the flashlight that I've been carrying. Um, so that's about what goes in my pockets, guys. Next up, I'm actually going to show you guys the concealed carry that I have been rocking. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start it off and just show you the whole package. So here is what I've been carrying. This is an appendix setup. I have my P365 in there with a spare 12-round magazine. Uh, this is the... Um, this holster is by Last Line of Defense, one of my favorite uh, YouTube channels out there. Um, Mike on there, he, he makes these. This is his company, Last Line of Defense uh, holsters. And uh, yeah, this thing is just, uh, it's just an all around good holster. Now this is clear, just so you guys know, I, uh, the weapon is clear before I've done any of this. But um, yeah, I got this one with the uh, Kuyu camo, the Verde pattern on it, and then I've got the orange backing back here. And uh, yeah, I'm just super, super small, considering it's the P365, the holster doesn't have to be that big anyways. It has a single belt cl uh, clip configuration, so you can get a little bit of play. Um, I like that with me having a little bit of a gut on me. I like being able to have a little bit of motion and play in that gun. Um, in that holster that way, you know, if I'm sitting down, I can adjust it just a little bit if I need to and uh, It'll it'll kind of move with me and, and with my belly when I sit down um, But yeah, it's super comfy and then like I said, um, I have a spare 12 round magazine in mine uh, That's how I carry mine. So with this 365, I always have 24 rounds readily available on me at all times um, So now let me talk to you guys a little bit about my P365 as you guys can see I do have a, a sig gray frame on here I think is what this color might be called and I have a stipple job that has been placed on here by um, you know somebody that does that at a shop I sent um, PayPal 
PayPal'd them. They provided the frame with the stipple job on it. And, uh, you know, matter of about 12 days, I think it was uh, at my front door from the time I placed my order. But definitely like the, the uh, feel of this a lot better than what the, um, the stock P365 is. It just feels a lot better in hand. Um, I, I like this gun just because I can really control this thing with a good grip. Um, and with this, uh, this stipple pattern here, it, uh, it, just, it just feels 10 times better than the stock. Um, the good thing about that deal that I got with them was, is um, you know, I still have my stock uh, grip module in there in my case. So if I ever wanted to go back to stock, I could totally do it. I paid a little bit of money for this thing, but uh, it was well, well worth it. Uh, it just feels amazing. It looks amazing. But aesthetically and uh, you know functionally, it helps me out. It shoots like a dream with that on there. Um, he did send um, in that package that I got. It did include the same stipple pattern on a spare 12 round magazine. So uh, you know you can kind of see the difference in the uh, stipple patterns. This one is the stock version. And that one is the one that I got done. So yeah, it's just. Uh, pretty sweet makes me uh, feel like um, I have a little more control of that gun in hand it doesn't slip and slide around as much uh, especially if I've been on the range shooting and uh, you know my hands are sweaty I do plan on doing a review on that uh, the p365 with this uh, updated uh, stipple job and grip module here pretty soon so be sure to stay tuned for that um, but yeah, I think that pretty much covers it, guys. Sorry, I know this video is super long, but uh, it's spring 2019. I haven't done an EDC video since last fall, and I wanted to give you guys an update, show you the studio, and uh, yeah, let you guys know that I'm not I'm not gone. This is uh, I'm here to stay. So we're gonna be rolling out quite a bit of content. Uh, I get inspired. I sit here and watch YouTubers and think of ideas and jot them down in my notepads. And that brings me to something. I'm probably going to do a video for uh, what my favorite YouTubers are. Uh, if you guys are interested in kind of seeing maybe what my top five or top ten uh, YouTube channels are that I personally watch, uh, I may do that pretty soon. I may kind of go through and just tell you guys who I watch, who inspires me, and uh, you know, give those channels a shout out. And uh, you know, maybe it'll help give you guys some new content to watch here. So yeah, I may do that pretty soon. We'll go through. And I'll show you guys some of the uh, some of the YouTube channels that I think are fun and cool and entertaining. I mean, I watch a wide variety of everything from educational to comedy to a little bit of everything. But yeah, we'll do our top five or ten. Um, without further ado, though, guys, I think that's all I got for the night. I, I'm gonna get up and go hunting in the morning, which is in like uh, five hours. So I probably need to go to bed. But I appreciate you guys for tuning in. This was my EDC update. Be sure to leave any comments down below what you thought about the gear that I have. If you have any recommendations, um, if it's something that you carry, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all for staying through this entire video if you did. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. It lets me know what kind of content to keep bringing you guys. And without further ado, I am out. Peace.